Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 16 da 19 da mita 25 da kuma a tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afirka ko a shafin mu na internet bbchausa.com Masu raro assalamu alaikum Badriya ta jani kalara wike fatan kun wani lafiya a cikin shirin mu na karfe 8 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato bakwai da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana to a cikin shirin za ku ji sakataren tsaron Amurka Lloyd Austin ya ce babu gudu ba ja da baya kan tallafin da kasar sa ke baiwa Isra'ila ana fargabar sake barkewar rikici a Sudan bayan dakaran RSF sun karbe ikon wani yanki a kudancin Khartoum hukumar zabe a Najeriya kuwa ta sanar da farkon watan gobe a matsayin lokacin zaben cike gurbi a waɗannan zabe ka sun hada ne da waɗanda aka yi shari'a a kotu kotu ta soke zaben da kuma waɗanda wala Allah kaman janye mukami su ne a majalisa ko saboda mutuwa gwamnatin jihar Sokoto kuwa ta ce zazzaɓin dange da hukumar NCDC ta ce ya bulla a jihar tsohon zance ne mu munka tura mu NCDC munka ce ga to yi report to kuma sun sani kafin ma su yi magana don ba su koka mana gudunmuwa ba mu mun yi saurin da agnosin ɗin abin mun gano shi muka yi treat ɗin abin mu lafiya da ba wani problem yanzu a ko kuci su shiga media mun yi magana to kuma kocin daukaka kara da ke zama a Abuja ta tabbatar da nasarar gwamnatin jihar Adama Ahmadu Pinchiri a matsayin zababben gwamnatin jihar amma zamu fara da labaran duniya tare da Zulaiha Tikibiya Amurka ta ce an kafa kawancen kasa da kasa dan kare jiragen yan kasuwa a tekun Maliya Sakataren tsaron Amurka ya shedawa mani ma labarai cewa yana son kasashe su shiga Adama da su wajen dakile harharan yan tawayen hutsi da Iran ke marawa baya a Yemen Lloyd Austin ya bayyana cewa zai gana da takwarorin sa na yankuna a ranar talata domin tattaunawa game da batun. Da dama manyan kamfanonin jiragen ruwa na duniya sun karkatar da jiragen ruwan su kudancin Afirka da nufin kaucewa harharan yan tawayen hutsi a tekun Maliya. Hamas ta fitar da bidiyon wasu tsaffi uku da aka garkuwa da su wadanda ke cikin mutanen da aka kama a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba. Mutanen masu shekaru tsakanin 79 zuwa 84 sun bayyana yadda suke rayuwa cikin mauyacin hali. Daya daga cikin su ya bukaci a sake su dan tserewa harahara ta sama. Isra'ila ta yi Allah wadai da bidiyan. Ana fargabar sake barkewar rikici a Sudan bayan dakarun RSF sun karbe ikon wani yanki a kudancin Khartoum. A baya Wadul Madani ya kasance matsugunin dubban yan gudun hijira da suka tsere daga babban birnin kasar. People have been trying to get out of the city, but that's not easy. There's a few. Wakilin BBC ya ce mutane sun kasa fucewa saboda wahalar mai ga kuma yan bindiga sun ba za a titina. Duk kokarin da kasashen ketare suka yi na kawo ƙarshen fadan bai nasara ba. Sojin Sudan da dakarun RSF sun dauki alwashin ci gaba da gwabza fada tsakanin su. Sojin Sudan sun zargi hadaddiyar daular Larabawa da goyen bayan dakarun na RSF. Kuna sauraron labarun duniya daga sashen Hausa na BBC. Sakataren tsaron Amurka Lloyd Austin ya ce ba abin da ya girgiza goyen bayan Washington ga Isra'ila. Ya wannan jawabi ne lokacin da yake amsa tambayoyin yan jarida a birnin Tel Aviv bayan Kamala ta taunawa da takwaran sa Yov Gallant. These attacks are reckless and they violate international law. And I would remind you that this is Sakataren tsaron Amurka Lloyd Austin yace wadannan harahare kan mai uwa da wabi sun ci karo da dokokin kasa da kasa. Ina tana muku cewa wannan ba matsalar Amurka bace ita kadai. Matsalar kasashen duniya ce da take bukatar daukar mataki a tare. Duk da yadda kasashe suke juyawa Amurka baya a goyen bayan da take ba Isra'ila. Mr Austin ya ce wadanda suka haifar da rashin zaman lafiya a gabar yamma da kogin Jordan za su fuskanci hukunci. Sakamakon zaben shugaban kasar Masar a hukumance ya sanar da Abdul Fatah Al-Sisi a matsayin wanda ya nasara a zaben shugabancin kasar. The election official said that the turnout was 67%. Wakiliyar BBC ta ce jami'an hukumar zabe sun ce kashi 67 na al'umar kasar ne suka fita zabe. An tambayi sahihancin zaben bayan barazinar da aka yi wa ma'aikata da sallama daga aiki da kuma alƙawarin tukuici ga wadanda suka kada kuri'u. Watanni kalilan kafin zaben babban abokin hamayyar shugaba CC ya sanar da janyewa daga zaben yayin da ba a san da dama daga cikin sauran yan takarar shugabancin kasar ta Masar ba. 
Duk da masalar tattalin arziki da Masar take fama da shi Mr CC ya shiga bance kasar tun bayan hanbar da gwamnatin Muhammad Mursi. Kashe labarin duniyar kenan. To a gaida Zuleha ki biya da labarin duniyar. To madan la yanzu kuma sai rahotanni inda zamu faro daga Gaza. Sakataren tsaron Amurka Lloyd Austin ya ce babu gudu ba ja da baya kan tallafin da kasar sa ke bai wa Isra'ila. Austin ya fada haka ne a taron manema labarai a wani bangare na ziyarar da yake birnin Tel Aviv inda ya gana da takwaran sa na Isra'ila Yoav Gland karin watan da bulki su baban gida ta hada mana. Washington na kara zama ita kadai a cikin irin gagarar mungoyen bayan ta ga ayyukan sojin Isra'ila a Gaza. Mr. Lloyd Austin ya ce Amurka za ta ci gaba da kasancewa babbar aminiyar ta ta kuddakud, amma kuma ya kara da cewa dole sai Isra'ila ta kauce wa kai hare-hare da ke hallaka fararan hula a Gaza. Protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza is both a moral duty ni ce kara Palestinawa fararan hula a Gaza babban nauyi ne da yawa jaba kana aiki ne mai matukar muhimmanci don haka zamu kuma ci gaba da tsayawa akan matsayin mu kan yancin Isra'ila na kare kanta sannan za kuma mu ci gaba da yin kira game da kariyar fararan hula tare da kara yawan shigar da kayan agajin jinkai zuwa cikin Gaza haka na da muhimmanci cewa Isra'ila na yaki don murkushe ayyukan ta'addancin kungiyar Hamas a Gaza kana abu ne mai kyau ga aikin mu da aminan mu da kuma abokan hudar mu bayan fadan ya kare Mr Austin ya kuma kara da cewa dole Isra'ila ta dauki mataki na dakatar da kai hara-haran da Yahudawa yan kama wuri zauna ke kai wa Palestinawa a gabar yammacin kogin Jordan ya kuma jaddada cewa yana da matukar muhimmanci wa Isra'ilawa da Palestinawa su fuskanci wa tafkar hanci daga duka bangarorin biyu a nasa bangaren takwaran sa Mr Yob Galland ya bayyana cewa Isra'ila za ta ci gaba da ayyukan sojin ta a Gaza har sai ta ga bayan kungiyar Hamas Rahotan da Bilkis baban gida ta hada mana kenan to bari shirin namu ya nafi Najeriya inda kotun daukar kara dake zama a Abuja babban birnin kasar ta tabbatar da nasarar gwamnatin jihar Adama Ahmadu Fintiri a matsayin zababen gwamnatin jihar ya takara jam'iyyar APC a zaben da sanata Aisha Binani ita ce ta daukar kara domin kalubalantar hukuncin da kotun sauraron korafin zaben gwamnatin jihar ta yanke wanda ya tabbatar da nasarar ta gwamnatin Fintiri kara watan bada Masiya Abdulkadir Mukhtar dama tun bayan kammala zagaye na biyu na zaben gwamnatin jihar Adamawa hukumar zaben Najeriya ta sanar da gwamnatin Ahmad Fintri na jam'iyyar PDP a matsayin wanda ya lace zaben bayan samun kuru'u 430 da 8661 daga baya kuma sanata Aisha Binani ta jam'iyyar APC wanda ta samu kuru'u 398 da 788 ta shigar da korafi gaban kotu kuma bayan sauraron kowane bangare Sai kotun ta sanar da nasarar Ahmad Fintri kamar dai yadda hukumar zaben ta sanar tun da farko. Wannan ne kuma yasa sanata Binani ta daukar kara zuwa kotun daukar kara dake birnin Abuja inda ta nemi kotun ta gyara abin da ta kira ke ta dokar zabe da aka tafka a baya. A hukuncin da kotun daukar kara ta bayar a yau litinin mai shari'a tun dai a wotoye ya ce babu makama a hujjojin da sanata Binani ta gabatar. Kotun ta ce wadda ta daukar kara ta gaza gabatar da gamsassun shedu da zasu tabbatar da zargin da ta yi cewa an tafka magudi da amsar rashawa a lokacin zaben gwamnatin jihar Adamawa dan haka ta yi watsi da korafin haka nan kuma kotun ta umarci sanata Binani ta biya gwamnatin Fintri diyar naira 250 kotun daukar karar ta kuma bayyana fushinta akan yadda komishinan hukumar zabe a jihar Adamawa na wancan lokacin Hudi Ari yayi gaggawar sanar da sakamakon zaben gwamnatin jihar tun kafin kammala tattara alƙaluma Yanzu dai sanata Aisha Binani tana da zabin sake daukar kara zuwa kotun Koli domin kalubalantar hukuncin sauran kotun nan biyu da basu yi mata dadi ba. A gaida bada Masi Abdul Qadir Mukhtar to har yanzu muna kan batun zaben ne a Najeriya. Hukumar zabe mai zaman kanta ta ce a makon farko na watan fabrairin shekarar 2024 za a gudanar da dukkan zabukan cike gurbi a Najeriya. Shugaban hukumar INEC din wato Professor Mahmud Yakubu shine sanar da haka a wani taron da suka gudanar tsakanin ƴan siyasar shugabannin jam'iyyu a Abuja babban birnin kasar Hajiya Zainab Aminu jami'a ce a hukumar zaben ta kuma yi min karin bayani kan wannan Shugaban hukumar zabe ya sanar da cewa akwai zabuka da hukumar take shirin shiryawa wato a farkon shekara mai zuwa da za mu shiga Uh, waɗannan zabuka kuma sun hada ne da waɗanda aka yi shari'a a kotu kotu ta soke zaben ya zama na an tabbatar da cewa wannan kujeran ya zama babu mai shi za a sake zabe a mai gurbi da kuma waɗanda wala Allah uh, 
sun kaman janye makamis sune a majalisa ko saboda mutuwa ko ko saboda wani uh, kujira kuma da suka samu sai shi ma wannan kujiran ya zama babu mai ita sai an yi zabe domin a ciki wannan gurbin kamar wadanne jihohi ne wannan zabe zai shafa a halin yanzu da muke ciki ba a bayyana wato kamar mu ce cikakken bayanin jihohin da wannan zaben ya shafa ba amma shi ko shugaban hukumar zabe ya tabbatar da nan ba da jimawa ba idan aka zauna aka gama tattancewa za a sanar da wa'annan jihohin da wannan zabukan ya shafa wani zai ce kasa da fa wata guda kenan anya an shirya ma wannan zabe kamar yadda kullun aikin hukumar zabe yake tahowa abu ne wanda akan dau lokaci ana shirya shi kuma a lokacin da ya kamata a sanar za a sanar din kuma a gudanar da zaben kamar uh, yadda aka tsara shin wannan karan za ku dauki ma'aikatan wucin gadi ko kuma dai ma'aikatan ku ne kai na hukumar zabe za su yi wannan aiki eh to za mu yi cewa wannan za mu jira sai lokacin ya zo tukunna kafin hukumar zabe ta duba ta gani idan ma'aikatan ta da take da shi za su iya gudanar da aikin idan ma sai an yi amfani da na wucin gadin kamar yadda yake a al'ada duk da za a sanarwa ɗan ƙasa domin su san abin da ake ci Hajiya Zainab Amini kenan jami'a a hukumar zaben Najeriya to anan kuma shugaban kasar Bola Ahmed Tinubu ne ya bukaci hukumar directorin kamfanin mai na Najeriya da ta matsa kaimi wajen ganin kamfanin ya fara yawan wato ya kara yawan iskar gas inda yake samarwa tare kuma da samun riba ayyukansa shugaba Tinubu wanda ya kaddamar da hukumar gudanar ruwa a yau dinnan litinin ya ce akwai bukatar mambobin hukumar su dinga ba da pipiko ga abubuwan da kamfanin man zai yi da su domin kyauta ta walwala al'umar yan Najeriya ga Ibrahim Isa da karin bayani Shugaba Tinubu yace ba karamin aiki aka dora wa hukumar directorin kamfanin man Najeriya ba musamman ma idan aka yi la'akari da kudirin da gwamnatin tarayya tai na daidaita tafiyar kamfanin man tare da inganta harkokin sa wannan ne ma yasa shugaba Tinubu yace akwai bukatar mambobin hukumar directorin kamfanin man su ja damara saboda a cewar sa aikin da ke gaban su ba na wasa bane this is not business as usual your appointment is not cake sharing it's for the welfare of the nation wannan fa ba irin harkan nan da aka saba yin ta bacci ba a nada ku domin ku yi dabdala ba an nada ku ne domin kyauta ta walwalar najeriya kuma ina farin cikin ganin cewa kuma a shirye kuke ku bauta wa kasa ku ne ke dauke da ruhin tattalin arzikin najeriya akwai bukatar mu nuna irin dukufar da muka yi aikaci wajen kyauta ta jin dadin yan najeriya ban gamsu da yadda ake samar da albarkatun mai ba ya kamata ku duba wannan sosai ya kamata mu shawo kan dukkan kalubale mu yi dukkan abin da ya dace da zai kwadaita samar da karin iskar gas shi ma shugaban hukumar directorin kamfanin man Pius Akinya Lure ya yi alwashin cewa da shi da sauran mambobin hukumar za su yi da nufin gwamnatin tarayya na kare yawan man da kasar ke samarwa a kowace rana musamman ma a shekara mai zuwa sai dai ya ce akwai bukatar gwamnati ta inganta tsaro a yankin Naija Delta ta yadda za a rage matsalar satar mai za mu yi iya gurgudo wajen tabbatar da cewa mun ci rututa a kowane fannin samar da mai a Najeriya da nahiyar Afirka ko a tsakanin kasashen duniya da suka ci gaba a harkar mai ba abu ne mai sauki ba mun san akwai kalubale da ya shafi satar mai da matsalar fasa bututan man amma mun yi kudurin cewa za mu dinga samar da gangar dan yan mai miliyan biyu a kowace rana daga shekara mai zuwa amma hakan ba zai yi ba sai an yi garan bawul ga fannin tsaro domin magance matsalar satar mai da fasa bututai kuma yin hakan zai taimaka wajen kare yawan kudin shiga domin kyautata rayuwar kasar mu Gwamnatin tarayyar dai ta ce za ta yi duk abin da ya dace dan samar da kyakkyawan yanayi a yankin Naija Delta mai arzikin mai da suka hada da kyautata rayuwar al'umar yankin ta hanyar samar musu da abubuwan mora rayuwa yankin da shugaba Tinubu ya ce ko an yi musu hakan ba a biya sadaukarwar da yankin ke yi ga kasa ba adadin dan yan man da Najeriya ke samarwa a kowace rana a halin da ake ciki dai bai wuce miliyan 1 da 200 da doriya ba sakamakon matsalar satar man da lalata bututai a yankin Naija Delta wannan ne ma ya sa kasar ke fuskantar kalubale wajen ba da kasan da kungiyar OPEC ke kebe mata Ibrahim Isa sashen Hausa na BBC 
Abuja, Nigeria. Tenzu karipetara ni saura mentigo mashashida a Nigeria da Niger. Muna gabata muko da wana nshiri ni daga nan sashang hausa na BBC. Baya ga saura rama tahangyar internet a bbchausa.com za kuma kuye saura rama akangwe salula kuwa na loka chiku kibuk ata. Gaba a cikin shirin za mu je kasar Mali amma yanzu bari mu nufi Jamhuriyar Niger inda a rana mai kamar ta yau ne kasar ta zama Jamhuriya a je Lahadi shugaban mulkin sojan kasar General Abdurrahman Chani yayi wa yan kasar jawabi inda ya taba tutuwa da dama da suka shafe su sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Antony Blinken dai ya tai Niger din murna zagayar wannan rana ta kuma da fatan ganin an sabunta kawancen da ke tsakanin kasashen biyu wakilin mu ta mai cima ila isufu ta jiyo mana ta bakin al'umar Niger kan wannan rana ga kuma abin da suka shaida mata kasar mu ta zama mai intin kanta ganin cewa eh kasar horan shi shekara da shekaru tana cewa ta ba mu intin kai amma wannan intin a baki ne ake hudun shi amma zuwan wannan sojoji karkashin jagorantin Abdurrahman Chani eh muna ganin alama yanzu ne dan Niger zai ga ya samu intin kanshi sai dai kiran da zan yi anan ga gwamnatin mulkin sojojin Niger ta dubi halin da al'umma suke ciki musamman ma sakamakon takunkumin da kasashen CDAW suka kakaba ma a kasai su hau teburin sulhu to ni dai ga wayo na ga sani na nan da shekara 15 da suka gabata abin da ya wuce za ni yace wa ni dai wanga wani abin a zo a gani ba da Niger ta samu na ci gaba saboda zan ka doka wanda suka karatun boko da yawancin su wajen wasu karatun ma na aikin hannun ma ne suka dan yi sun dan bude an tafi president su gwamnati ba tallafa masa ba sun hwadi wasu kuma sun zo sun yi aikin hannun ne suke da nasu ne aikin hannun suka koya sun dan wara tashi gwamnati ba tallafa masa ba yanzu an ku doki mutun 100 zuwa 50 hakan ga masu aikin hannun da kila ka samu 10 10 share wanda gwamnati tallafa mashi da ci gaba ji gaban da aka samu dai na farko a gaskiya kasan mu ta doki wani sabon salo na tahiyar da aikin ta da kanta musamman bisa rabuwa da kasa Faransa saboda muna ganin kamar ita ce ta mana tarnaki ta hana abubuwa su ci gaba muna godiya kware bisa jawabin da ya tabo wurare wanda yake sun so sa mana zukata kware musamman kuma bisa ga haraka tsaro a kasar Tilabere akwai lakololi fiye da 300 da wani abu da ke rufe to alhamdulillah wasu sun bude wurin 100 da wani abu ma ya tabo harakar da mana da ci maka da ta samu dan matsaloli nan ma an samu ci gaba fannin manoma gaskiya sai mu mallaka godiya muna kira ga diyan kasa su ci gaba da addu'a bisa ga halin da kasa ta shiga Allah ya kama mana kuma a samu daidaito tsakanin mu da kasashe na duniya gaba daya ma Niger ta koma bisa hanya wadda yake za mu samu ci gaba kware cikin ta yanzu muka san muke kwanci lafiya muke tashi lafiya duk dan Niger yanzu ne sai yana kwanci lafiya ya tashi lafiya to ni fatan nake yi da yanzu ga magabatan mu da wannan abin da suka dauko a yanzu kasar sauraru wa'annan kasashen waje da suke so samu wani takunkumi to mu ba mu da wani takunkumi bin mu da takunkumi komai wasu yan Niger kenan ke bayyana ra'ayin su kan cikar kasar shekaru 65 da zama jamhuriya to za mu sake komawa Nigeria amma yanzu bari mu je kasar Mali inda a makon nan ne gwamnatin ruƙan kwariya a Mali din ta gudanar da bikin baje kolin al'adu a Timbuktu wanda aka saba yi a kowace shekara duk wanda hana jigilar abinci da man fetur zuwa yankin da kungiyar masu da awan jihadi mai alaka da alƙa'ida ta yi tun a watan Agusta yayin da ake ci gaba da gwamza fada a arewaci an kammala janye dakarun majalisar dinkin duniya masu aikin kwantar da tarzoma a Timbuktu wajen da ke da maitakar muhimmancin gaske ga gwamnatin mulkin sojin ga fasarar rahoton Sara Moneta a gefa hasumiyar Timbuktu mai tarihin zaman lafiya mawakani da suka fito daga sassan kasar dan baje kolin basira sa a wannan biki yayin da gidajen kasa dake yankin ke kayatar da idanu saboda alamar fado rana da ta bayyana a jikin su gwamnan yan kasuwa da masu kere kere na baje basira su a kananan rumfunan da aka samar a zahiri dai ara iya cewa bikin da bana baya da bambanci da sauran na shekarun da suka gabata amma fa abin ba haka yake ba Tun daga watan Augusta Timbuktu ke fama da takunkumin hana shigar da kayayyaki wanda kungiyar JNIM mai kirarin jihadi ta kakaba kauyuka dake gefen birnin sun zamo fagen daga da ake gwamza fada Le festival il est né 
An girkiro da wannan biki ne domin kawar da hankali daga fargaba da wahalar da aka shiga da kuma farfado da harkokin rayuwa Salah Hamaiga shine shugaban committee tsar da bikin kuma dan majalisa ne a majalisar kwankwariyar kasar na tambaye shi dalilin shirya wannan biki duk da cewa ana fama da rikici a bana ila tout a yanzu ne ake bukatar wannan biki fiye da sauran shekaru 